Hey guys, welcome back to my video and in this video I'm going to be talking about why I stopped budget planning. So I kind of stopped budget planning in the middle of May um, to I th like the end of June basically, yeah to the end of the June and I, it's not like I completely stopped, I still did my like daily tracking because in my head I was like I'm gonna fill out my budget planner still I'm still gonna keep doing that but I never did and the reason is because it got kind of overwhelming I got into like this kind of little hiatus with um, work and I was kind of like um, off work for like about a month so I kind of went a little overboard with spending yeah that's just what happens when I don't budget but so I had that kind of situation happen and I was just like you know what um I just I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do right now so my budget just kind of flew out the window and I had no budget at all and my budgeting between that time my little hiatus is horrible so I'm just here to tell you that it's okay if you have like um, if you have a little slip up here, I mean, I slipped up and I only was planning for about two months. I also want to tell you guys that um, I am going to still be budgeting, but like everything changed. And that's another reason why I kind of stopped budgeting a little bit. Because before I used to check like every single day, I used to jot everything down. Every week I used to always just fill out my weekly part for you guys. Um, and it was fun for me, you know, but then there's like this point where it got kind of like some things just didn't work out for me and in this video that I'll be doing you guys will see me like plan out like everything like lay out every page that I usually do into one video and I'll talk about like what worked for me what didn't work for me and how I'm going to change things up um, it is going to be a lot different from what I did before but there are some things that I did like doing before so something that's going to stick but yeah, so I just wanted to have this quick little update for you guys before I get started with the video. And yeah, let's get started. So let's start out with the July portion. I already put down my labels that I make. Um, if you guys have, oops. <laughs> if you guys have seen my previous video that I did planning in my earring conjuring, then you guys know that I have moved all of my stock onto my Instagram channel, or no, not my channel my Instagram page so it's linked down in the bottom bar below I have officially closed my Etsy shop so you won't be able to find it there so I already laid these down and these are just like the stuff that I have I'm pretty sure I have another one I have another subscription oh yeah I resubscribed to um, Simply Gilded this month so I'm just gonna write that down and add it in and it's standard every month so I'm just gonna write that down and I think it comes out every 17th, but... And I have the same usual kind of stuff that I did in my previous um, videos. I have my Etsy, credit cards, Chegg, Stitch Fix, and Simply Gilded. That's all I have. And I think that's all I write down or... No, I actually write down stuff on the side also. If you guys know, I haven't planned in a while, so I need to refer back a couple of times. So to save for, I'm going to use a dark blue this month just to make everything um, coordinated. A dark blue and a black just because it kind of matches. So I'm just going to put to save for. And again, this area is for stuff I have to like keep in mind for next month. So the things I have to save for is it's my mom's birthday in August. And I also have school starting, so I think I'm just going to put school in like this side. And I have to pay for my permit, parking permit. And I also have to pay for my books. So those are the stuff I have to pay, um, stay for. And then I also need to put in my paydays because I didn't do that for the month. And I always get paid on the 15th and the 31st. I'm going to use these page flags from Little Red Prince. And then I'm going to start from the beginning and like check off when I actually spent money and when I did not. So um, the only day I didn't spend money was Wednesday, but 
money went out of here, but that's fine. I technically did a no spend. This just automatically gets taken out of my account. So I'm actually gonna mark it as a no spend because I did no spend. And what I do is I just take a ruler and I take a black pen, just go across just like that. And then I write no spend. And the other day that I did a no spend was on Sunday. So since I um, didn't budget for a while, I kind of went spending crazy. <laughs> Usually I try to have three to four days of no spends a week, but it just didn't work out like that. So nothing really changed in my monthly area. Everything kind of stayed the same. I kind of liked the way that I was doing it. It made sense to me, so that's why I'm going to keep it. Then the last thing I do on this monthly area is I put down my bobas or when I buy like Starbucks. And this is from Sincerely Kawaii. It's a little boba stickers. I think they're so cute. Boba on Monday. And then I did boba on Thursday. So I'm also going to be putting like a monthly budget page right here for just like the places I no, I kind of overspend in and yeah, it's just so that I kind of keep track. So I'm gonna use these ombre heart, not ombre heart, it's just the ombre checklist. And this is from my shop. They all come in like different colorways, but I'm just gonna write beauty. And this is for like my eyelashes. So um, it's probably gonna, I'm gonna give myself 120 because it's usually sixty dollars each time i did this every three weeks and then um i go to target and that's fifty dollars and this is for a whole month you guys and shopping i'm gonna give myself a hundred dollars so that's about all that i do for like my monthly expenses so i'm just gonna put this down at the bottom okay so um if i like overspent or if i reach that area then i just check mark it and stuff um but i try not to go to the full budget just because i like saving money so yeah that's just the end of the portion for the monthly part and time to move on to the next page and here is this page. I'm so sad that the new Deluxe Monthly Planner doesn't have these five boxes anymore. Just because I love doing it this way. I see it's so helpful. But um, I think I'm going to... I'm still going to get the Deluxe Monthly Planner because it helps with my budgeting. But it's like note pages. But I think I'm just going to do it the same exact way but just lined, you know. But that's just for, for next year when I actually get it. And I kind of did it a little different. I wrote like my week expense or one week expense on this way just because I knew I was overspending and I um, couldn't fit it in my little sidebar so I just did it on this and this is the Erin Condren little um, paper I forgot what this is called but it's like the paper thing and I kind of like it doing it this way because it makes it easier especially for videos and stuff um, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this but I just want to let you guys know how I laid it out prior to actually putting it in here it makes it go a lot quicker too instead of me like figuring everything out because this is like a lot of categories to flip through um to just to fill this part out so i have my black pen and i'm just gonna do the category so if you guys have watched my previous videos of what my weekly budgets You'll see that I just put in basically this little category on the side. I don't put in like every little detail. So I'm just going to show you guys that. This portion of my budgeting also is going to stay the same just because I just like tracking it this way. I did see how um, Mackenzie something, I'm not sure. But I did watch her planning videos and she does like a budgeted and um like the difference things um i'm not sure if i want to do that i've seen it work but there's just like some things that kind of i'm not sure that i need budgeted so that's why i'm i don't know if i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna actually start doing that i wanted to actually change this part up i wanted to like start budgeting for it to see like how much i'm gonna do every week um 
like do a budgeted actual difference kind of thing but I just have so many categories that I just get kind of like flustered I guess um maybe that's why it changed into note pages but for right now I'm just gonna do it like this just because I haven't figured out the stuff that I'm gonna budget yet and yeah so maybe for week two I'll change and then I'll show you guys that because you know I love doing my weekly budgets for stickers I'm actually gonna budget it now because before I used to do the what was it called? The sinking fund for it, but it just took forever and I wanted like some stickers and I kept going into the negatives. I like I didn't, um I never had enough money in my little sinking fund for stickers. So I'm just gonna give myself fifty dollars a month to spend on stickers. I have stopped buying a lot of stickers now. I usually just buy washi. Um for this month I did go over though because her pre-sale was too good. And then I have two more categories. And I'm gonna use my my little labels that I made and I'm gonna take this blue one and I am gonna put each of my categories in. So it's debit card, credit card, and cash. And this is all from my shop. Um, this is a credit, now this is my debit card color and credit card color and then cash is normal. So this is customizable. Um, this is not, but this sheet is customizable to what your color of your credit card is. Um, you just have to find the color yourself. Like, um, I think it's called a hex, hex color. So you just type it in and then you get to pick out the color that your card is. Just because, like, I don't want to get it wrong because some people can say that it's black or it's, like, some people could say it's dark blue and dark blue is different for everybody. So I don't want to, like, mess it up, you know? So... Um, I'm just gonna fill it in. Okay, so this is how this looks like. I just noticed that they're all like going shorter and shorter, but that's fine. So this is how this looks like and then I add everything up and I put the total on the side. So the monthly or this week's total was way too expensive. So for this page, this is my like monthly expense page and I'm gonna be using highlighters now. I'm gonna uh, switch it up a little bit. Um, I used to use like washi, but I'm gonna do highlighters this time. And yeah, let's see how it works. So I'm gonna write July up top. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do it smaller this time just cause I'm gonna take a ruler. Okay, and then I have written out all of my little titles on here already. So this is from Erin Condren. And I just have incoming, outgoing, cash envelopes, and total. By the way, if you guys were wondering what highlighter I'm using, it's a mild, li mild liner. I keep calling it midliner, but it's mild liner. You can find this at Target. Um, I haven't personally seen it, but people have posted that it's at Target. So I'm just going to put down my little stickers. Okay, and my categories have changed up a little bit, so... Um, that's why I needed to update this whole system. So I have check number one. So I used to put like a sticker for totals now, but, um, I'm just going to put it on the little side and then I'll highlight it once I fill it up, everything in. And I'm going to take my ruler again and create like another border. And this is going to, the next part is going to be my outgoing. So outgoing is basically like subscriptions or bills and yeah that's just <laughs> all basically the same thing as I put in my monthly area. So I put down my bills which is Etsy, credit card, Treg, Stitch Fix, and Simply Gilded. So that's five, five things I already have to put down and then I have like four more, four other categories but I think um, I'm gonna like combine my S Simply Gilded with my stickers just because I'm not trying to overspend in the sticker area. I have stopped using stickers for a long time now. It's probably been like a couple months since I've actually bought stickers. So I'm just gonna combine that together. So my Simply Gilded subscription box will be coming out of my sticker budget for the month. So it's Etsy bill. Oh wait, I don't have Etsy anymore, but I did have to pay a bill this month. 
So I do not put my credit card in here just because I have its own category. I put it in weekly spending. So I add up all the um, stuff that I spent like for the week because um, on this side I don't put in I don't put in like my bills and stuff or anything so this is basically the stuff that I spend in a week and I'm just gonna put it in here and that's gonna um, count kind of towards like credit cards I guess I hope you guys know what I'm saying um, but yeah it works out for me and then I have stitch fix this month I only do stitch fix every other month now I kind of switched it up just because it is kind of expensive but I really don't like shopping I always buy the same exact stuff when I go shopping now so that's why I like stitch fix so cash envelopes I did write some other stuff here but then I widened it out because I was like um, cash envelopes are basically the money that you are going to spend in cash and that's usually dining out for me I think I'm gonna make shopping a category for it too just so I can um, do it through cash but I'm not sure because I usually spend a lot so I kind of want my points and I know people are gonna probably hate on saying that just because um, the Dave Ramsey's um, rule where it's like the points are actually suckering you in to spend more but um, I don't really see it like that I don't really like think oh my god I should spend money so that I can get points that like if I have to like buy something and the points are just bonuses you know you know what I'm saying like if I have to spend $50 on gas I'm gonna do it on my card just because I am gonna get rewards on it um, or say it's like I want to buy like food then I don't need to put it on my credit card because I can just spend cash on it because it's only like what $10 so I don't even bother to put it on my credit card. So that's where the cash envelope comes in. So I have that category. I only have it for dining out just because that's basically the only place I spend cash on. My whole life is basically through online, um, which is kind of sad just to hear about it, but it's kind of reality. Like I order stuff online. Um, if I go to like a shop, then I'll buy in stores, but you know, I don't do um, Grubhub or DoorDash or anything. So when I go out to eat, I always spend cash. And so I'm just going to make a little category for my last area, which is um, for the totals. Wow, why is this so short? My other ones before, it used to be like so long. Um, but that's fine. I'm just going to go with the flow here because that's just who I am. This video is going to be so long just because I'm combining all four of these pages into one video. And if you guys have watched my video before, then you know how I do this. So for totals, I do um, incoming minus outgoing equals the balance. And the incoming should always be more than outgoing or, you know, you're going into the negative. So I'm just going to write that down. And then I'm gonna leave a little space just so I can write the numbers in. And then I'm gonna make my third category or my fifth category actually. And this is just kind of on a whim. Um, but since I have this extra space for some reason, I don't know why, um, I'm gonna use it as a budgeting area. Like so that I can budget, keep track of the stuff that I'm budgeting for. And my categories for this, I'm gonna do it in black just so it's different. My category for budgeting is um, beauty. I just realized, why did I write this category here? It's gonna like hit the stickers. So these are my categories. I'm gonna make a line through this. This is a new section, you guys. For all my um, people who watched me before, my budgeting before, this is a little bit different and this is gonna be actual oh my gosh this is so crooked you guys I'm so angry at myself <laughs> and then difference and then I'm not gonna write the word because it's gonna hit the sticker but um, yeah I feel like this is a hot mess budgeting but you know that's how it always is so um, for shopping I give myself 100 
then at the end of the month um, I'll fill everything in and show you guys how that's gonna look like I'm gonna tell you what worked what didn't work but for now this is what it looks like um, hopefully this works so this page is my sinking fund page it's gonna stay the exact same basically the place that where it changed the most was um, that I really want to change was these two pages I'm still um, we'll see how it goes as the week or as time goes on but right now I'm trying to figure out like um, how I want to organize it so yeah but these two pages are basically the pages that I really wanted to change up just because I felt like it was like I just didn't understand what's happening um, this page did this stay the same and my sinking fund is going to stay the same so I'm not going to be um, showing you guys how I filled that out I do have a video of me filling out my sinking funds um, I'll link that up here for you guys to check out if you guys are really interested the only thing that I really wanted to change in my sinking funds area this page is when I like break it down like check by check um, like you know how I do like check one and then I break down like what I got and then I break it down to how much I put into my sinking fund so that's gonna probably change I'm not sure yet but if it does I will film it for you guys and show you but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this long awaited budget, um, updated budgeting version. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys stay tuned to watch more of my videos. Hit subscribe if you want to watch more and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.